Hello everyone. Today I'm doing a recording because we've got a special feature that everybody's been asking for for quite a while. This feature is geofencing. I'm going to demonstrate how it works by showing you how I've set up my end control system to open the garage door for me as I'm approaching my house. So here's what we've got. Some major players. We've got my garage door opener. This is a garage door opener from Linear. I have my phone and as you get your updates, what will happen once you define a geofence, that will communicate within control and you'll see a new device show up representing your phone. Now you'll notice that my reading is zero. That means I'm not inside of a defined fence. If you see that reading change, you'll, you'll be inside of a fence. So for example, my first geofence is defined around my house. And when I'm at my home, that value changes to one and so forth. So if you had multiple geofences, you'd see that increase from two to three, etc. The final device I have is this virtual device, which tells in control that I'm away. If you go to tools, excuse me, if you go to plugins, in control virtual devices, you can add your own. Now let's jump over to the scenes. There's three major scenes, Ryan arriving, Ryan arriving, turning off away, and Ryan left. I'll explain each of these and what their purpose is. So the very first scene that we'll look at is Ryan left. Let's go right to the triggers tab. You'll notice that my trigger is based on when my phone changes to zero. And again, zero means that I'm not in a defined geofence. So I'm, I'm gone. When that happens, in my devices, in my scene, I'm setting the Ryan away virtual device to on, telling in control that I'm now gone. Let's go to this scene here, Ryan arriving, and I'll kind of explain why that virtual device is important here in just a minute. In the triggers, the trigger to this one is when my phone value changes to 1, which again means that I'm now in a geofence, and this is the one I had to find around my home. The conditions is this is where that virtual device comes into play. So when Ryan has been away for over 30 minutes, I, I did this because in my area, my GPS signal tends to come and go and it would cause my, my location to bounce in and out of my geofence and I didn't want it to be triggering my garage door every time that happened. So now I've got it set up so that it has to, I have to be away for at least 30 minutes, otherwise all those changes will be ignored. And that works out pretty well. The other condition I have is that this will only run between 7 a.m. and 9 p.m. I figure there's no reason for the garage door to accidentally open at nighttime if, if anything strange happens with the GPS. So I, I stuck that condition in there just to be safe. Over here in this scene, here's what happens. So it tells my garage door to open. It sets that Ryan away virtual device to off because now supposedly I'm home. It also sends me a notification on my phone. I then have a pause that will basically give me a few minutes to get parked in the garage and then it will close the garage door. This of course is optional. It's up to you and whether you do this or not. So that this is the scene that actually opens the garage door when I come home. This other scene here, Ryan away, or excuse me, Ryan arriving, turn off away. This is basically a way to set myself back at home. It was kind of a, a safety measure because in, in that other scene it has to away has to be set for 30 minutes before the scene will trigger. Well, if, if I ever arrive home before that, I want the away to also turn off. So what I do, I just have this small delay in here, and then it sets that to off. And there are no conditions for this. But I do have a trigger. It's also the same trigger that Ryan arriving has, which is when my phone enters that geofence. So that's it. Once, once I have all these set up, it, it works pretty smoothly to know when I've left the house and when I come home. One note on the geofence is that I've got my geofence area size set to 200, which is 200 meters. That gives me a little bit of a leeway, and it gives me some early detection as well. So as I'm down the road, it will trigger instead of it having to be right at my house, and then by that time, my garage door is already open. So experiment with the size on your own. The bigger is better. It's also better on your battery life as well. So that's it. Here's that's a, that's how you set it up so that you can open up your garage door as you're arriving home. Hope you've enjoyed it.